7.4, example 2, part B. We have 7 over 9x squared plus x over 3x squared plus 3x. So our first goal is to find a common denominator. So let's look at what's in our denominators. We have 9x squared, we have 3x squared plus 3x. We can pull something out of this to see what we have. So we have 3x that we can factor out, um, and then we have x plus 1. So now let's see what we have on the left side. Can we factor 3x out of this? We can, and then what's left is 3x. So what they have in common is 3x and 3x. What they don't have in common is this 3x and this x plus 1. So they have this already in common. So what that means is we have to multiply the right side by this 3x because they don't have it in common, and we have to multiply the left side by the x plus 1. And that will give us our common denominator. So if I multiply the right side by this 3x that they didn't have in common, then I'll write it like this. And then on the left side, they didn't have the x plus 1 in common. So top and bottom, times 7. So now let's put it all together. We have 7 times x plus 1 plus x times 3x. You can leave your factors all split up if you want to. Um, or you can crunch it back together, whatever you want. Um, big ideas might expect you to do, um, have it in a certain format. I'm not sure what that is. I will give it a look to make sure what big ideas might want you to do. So we have on the bottom x plus 1 times 3x times 3x. So distribute 7 goes to the x and the 1, this x goes to the 3x. So we have 7x plus 7 plus 3x squared. And x plus 1, if I multiply these back together, it's 9x squared. I'm going to rearrange this so that it's in order, standard order, 3x squared plus 7x plus 7 all over 9x squared times x plus 1. And this is your final answer.